Hey everyone, in the last video we have seen uh, that how the subscription based uh, payments work in the uh, PayPal. Uh, so it was a kind of a theory uh, video. So we will see that uh, how we can create from the C sharp code. So I, ha I have created the create subscription uh, method and uh, if we go to the program and uh, we can see that we are creating the request where we are uh, giving the plan ID and the details of the subscriber and it could be uh, you know uh, the details or uh, the user is going to sus subscribe the uh, uh, your services so uh, I am uh, giving you know the demo va values or you can uh, give your know, actual va values where that can be you can take from the user or maybe stored in the database so once we give uh, send the request in the response we will get uh, in the approval URL where we need to redirect the user so as this is a console application we will uh, uh, redirect the user manually okay so let's uh, see let me run it so to create a subscription we have four let me press and you can see we get the response and uh, this is the result so it's successful and oh it prints the link why okay let me go to the program and see that what it actually let me do it again okay and the approval ul is link so we should say that dot href okay it should be dot href yes paste so this is the url so once you get this approval url uh, the subscription is created but it's not active so the user who has the account on the PayPal must approve on this URL. So let me redirect the user and uh, open in the private window. And uh, we need to log in. So we have a login account uh, in the sandbox. So if you remember, uh, we have created one in one of the last video. So. Let me change the password because I have forget. Save. Copy it and let's test one, two, three, four. Okay. So now the user who has uh, the PayPal account uh, will approve that what exactly you know uh, that it says that uh, one USD for one month this is the details of our plan okay then 48.40 USD for each month for 999 installments so this is the details of the plan okay and if you says continue and then agree and subscribe and then we will redirect the user to the example.com in this case but you definitely you will redirect to your own application so now the subscription is active and on every month the uh, given payment will be automatically deducted from his PayPal account and if the user does not have any you know uh, the required amount then the subscription will be cancelled okay that's how you can create a subscription however you might be wondering that okay the user has created the subscription but how would you know that user has uh, performed uh, something on the PayPal and whenever some uh, uh, recurring payment occurred how would you know that because in this case you create the subscription you redirect the user but after one month for example I am assuming the monthly base subscription so once uh, the payment has uh, deducted from the user account how would you know that 
so here web hooks comes into the picture okay so in the next video I'll explain that what are the web hooks I already have explained but I'll explain in detail and what are the web hooks available in the PayPal that uh, we will configure and uh, how we can test the web hooks on our local environment okay thanks bye bye